Let me make me fly, my sick. Tell them for clear the real lion for TV. I have hand tracks, a predator, no medication. Shola, when you see the rover pull over, shola. Everybody in England has a shola, no medication. Lion food, head gone, shola left. When he a come from, El Bobet. People production. Vlog and nigga, me have vlog and nigga. I have some information for you to know. Bless you, love and greetings, viewers and subscribers, kings and queens, lion and lioness. I hope all is blessed and as usual. I hope this visual finds you all in the best of health and health of our wealth. And your health is your wealth. So I beg you to please take care of it. You might have done when any, any one of the big up on yourself. Stay safe out there. And remember, be precautious, take precautions. After CV19, it's still out there. You know what I mean? Viewers and subscribers, big up on yourself. If you are new to the channel, you don't know. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell and share. You know what I mean? You don't know. You're most welcome to the platform. Welcome to the jungle. Zane, big up each and every one. Peace and love with you. And remember, gratitude is a must. Help someone if you can. Eat right. Drink right. Think right. Now, my viewers and subscribers, in this episode, I don't know, we have some update, updates on what's going on in and around the world. You know what I mean? Locally and abroad. And in this episode, we're going to talk about... Um, the crime rate in Jamaica and the murder, you know what I mean? Woman, the body of woman found in the bushes in Clarendon. You see what I say? I don't know when it's going to stop, start. And also a couple killed in St. Thomas, home invasion. See? We're also going to talk about um, Rhyme Sterling launches foundation at Farmer School. See? And determine expose the music industry some bad man artists selfish producers and also give um advice to upcoming artists who want to come into the game make sure you have the mindset and be prepared because it's not an easy road see my viewers and subscribers so you don't know the routine you don't know we're going to pay the bills and forward back well channel man first see the major advice and a lion foot in the ears and eyes I'm represent for the real Indian, they don't know Kaipo, them say big up every massive, every crew, yeah man, Black Pan Black Edition, they don't know, say the 18th of December, Irish memories, you know, say a slapper settings, elegant settings, see, so make sure you lock it down the diary and make it on a priority, yes man, the 18th of December, so I say just be prepared to come roll out with a good heart and a good mind and come have a good time, yeah man, they don't know, say location venue will be announced closer to the date, see, so stay tuned, while more information coming soon. Yeah man, I don't know. The 18th of December, Irish Memories, Black Pan Black Edition. Big up the world, Blackburn Pen, the world, Spain Land. You see me, I say, the world, Spanish Town, Pain Land, Anna Town. Big up everywhere. You see me, I say, Saturn, I say, I would. Shot, I say, I would. You see me, I say, no man, Kaipo, I say, I would. Your burglar, I say, I would. Tanto! Yeah man, what do you kill them, Tanto? 18th of December, roll out! Yeah man, Black Pan Black Edition. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, um, Black Pan Black. Zane Kaipo. This show is sponsored by Kaipo and the crew. Big up Kaipo, big up Real India. Zane, yes man, the 18th of December. Make it a date. And don't be late. Yeah man, roll out. Slap your settings. Now my viewers and subscribers, we can kick it off in the UK now. In the UK, um, a hospital. Can't remember the hospital off the top of my head, but yeah, them say um, the CV is rising back. One of the hospitals is overwhelming, full. People are struggling with COVID. Some got the double joke and some don't got it at all. Seeing like myself, yeah. So, watch all the quick clippings, yeah. She's probably the same. And that was today. She just got in, I think. As far as I know, she just, uh, she came back to start home. Yeah, she's just got in. Yeah, Irving is an osteopath and a health advisor. I take vitamins. I, every choice I make, even if it's dark chocolate as opposed to white chocolate, silly things like that, I avoid busy things. I try and be a healthy person. So me as an expert, so it's, it's still that easy. Did you get a vaccine? No, I didn't believe them at the time. 
Two thirds of the patients on the ward are actually vaccinated. To be clear, statistically, you're far more likely to get seriously ill if you aren't. The problem is that some who've been double jabbed aren't taking any precautions. Could you get the sense that people think the vaccine is enough? Mm, that's well, I, I think, well, that's a good question. Uh, perhaps they do, but I think we should uh, it's a responsibility for us to make it clear to people that the, getting the vaccine doesn't mean that you're protected from catching COVID. And I think the combination of, uh, of the surge in flu and the rise in COVID, potentially rising COVID cases, will put an enormous strain and pressure on the healthcare service. The yes, my viewers and subscribers, and I say, I'm going to go on, really. You know, basically, let me say, two thirds of the people who, who are in the hospital got the double joke, but they still not take precautions. So, so you see, the people who got the joke are still catching it and are still struggling to breathe. You know what I mean? I wish them all the best, and you know, yes, yeah, so the people in the UK, please, and Jamaicans as well, please be cautious. Don't drop on the guard and take things lightly because nobody knows when it's going to slap them. So I say, yes, my viewers and subscribers. So moving on now, um, Raheem Sterling launches foundation at farmer school. Big up Raheem Sterling, he has been doing some great thing, things, great stuff, like helping people, giving back, you know what I mean? Yeah, so when I saw this in the Gleaner, I thought, <laughs> yeah, me checks out Jamaica still, but when I read the article, say, it said, um, Ryan Sterling says he wants to help young people achieve their dreams and fulfill their potential. The professional footballer, who was born in Jamaica and moved to the United Kingdom as a child, unveiled the Raheem Sterling Foundation on Tuesday at his former school, the Ark Elvin Academy in the UK. So when I first saw the headline in Ryan Sterling launched his foundation at the former school, I thought it was a job here, you know, but um, Ryan Sterling there for him look still, because I know him for him look, you know. No matter to you see me, big up Chris, our farmer, our baby father, you know what I mean? We now reside in the States. So big up Chris, if you see this, big up yourself. Yeah man, we know Ryan Sterling, good, good man, you see me? And he's also the cousin of my um, auntie kids then. See, but I don't know when I run in, we just keep the thing really and see, so, you know what I mean? But big up the old Brickstone, you know the 100. Yeah man, Ryan Sterling, you know what I mean? And the mother everybody, you see it? Yeah, so. Viewers and subscribers, Ryan Sterling might do some good things still, but this is at his school at the Ark Elfin Academy in the UK. Anyway, yeah, so him come change him life and his mother had a rough, rough time in the UK. As I said, we know them well, we know the history, is it? Yeah, so. He wants to give back, and you don't know. The right thing he might do, still not knock him, but we'd love to see him do some things for Jamaica. For the schools in Jamaica, and Elk, enough talented footballer out there, you know. I have that dreams and aims. And hopefully one day we can carry it, execute it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, viewers and subscribers, let me know what you think of that. You know what I mean? If you think Ryan Sterling should uh, consider doing the same thing in Jamaica, give back to some schools and help some youth to try to become a pro footballer as well from Jamaica. See? Next, my viewers and subscribers, body of woman found in bushes in Clarendon. John I don't know when I'm going to stop the crime and violence against women. You know what I mean? As I can see, um, the logo here up on the screen, I, I designed that logo. You know what I mean? Just try to be creative. And the hands, those fingers are my finger. I took the picture of my finger, my hand, and then I just do the writing. You see it? Yeah, so in the article, it is saying, the police in Clarendon are seeking the public assistance to identify the body of a woman that was found near a bus stop in Dawkins Pen on Tuesday morning. The name, Leisha's, is, is tattooed. On the woman's right foot. See? Leisha. Her name Leisha is tattooed on her right foot. So anybody missing Leisha, I know Leisha is missing her. We don't know if it's just her name or her daughter name or somebody close to her, you know what I mean? But um we also when I'm gonna stop the crime and violence against women. We don't know why why this woman is missing, why she was dead, you know what I mean? I we don't know if they're rape or not still is it. But we just say stop the crime and violence against women star. Sad. In a Clarendon, so I'll be a thing I go on a Clarendon. You see me? Stop the crime and violence. The next one, number of viewers and subscribers. Um, couple killed in St. Thomas Home Invasion. Jano Star. St. Thomas. I'm telling you, I'm going to run red in right now. Andrew Wallace is bringing SOE. Because that's not going to stop nothing. Come. SOE set up and, and um, a man still at the next door. You see me, you them still have got the step. All them did them run the program 
And so when the police them turn them back and when they can strike and them go strike, make them doppy and cut. Zin? The police in St. Thomas are probing a double murder committed in Soho district in the parish this morning. The deceased have been identified as 22 year old Armando Grant, otherwise called DJ and Killy, who is of the Middletown address and 23 year old Julian Grant of Top Hill District in Soho. See, so it looks like where the girl come from Soho. Top Hill District Soho. And that's where the girl come from. 23 year old Julia. Juliana. See, and the deceased. 22 year old Armando Grant. Otherwise called DJ and Killy. Killy. You don't name the name of Killy. That means uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that name there. But anyway, sad for sister 22 year old and a 23 year old lose them life. Look like him straight go link um Juliana Grant. Uh, you see me? And the man must program him. I can be a programmer run a Jamaica, you know. So the man will run program and run him and kick off the boom bang bang. Gone. Gone a bone yard, you see me? No more upon the land of the living. Channel star. Sad. Violence and crime. When it will end? When will it end? Viewers and subscribers wanna be safe out there. No, my viewers and subscribers, last but not least, you know, we, got, we spoke about determined Buzumai. You know what I mean? He made a statement on his Instagram and I saw it and I said, this is quite interesting, so we just take it off. You know what I mean? But before that, you don't know, watch that little performance from Buzumai in our studio. Secret for me, yo. Big up, booze my boo 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 booze my come like him. Find it again. I love the melody and the sound. There, big up that studio. That we know that studio look up. Boo, see, man, I tell no lie, yo. Yes, man, I don't know. Big up the whole Miami, Florida. See, yo, booze my made a statement, you know what I mean, um, about the business, the music business, and corruption, and just people and a whole lot of them bad mind and selfish. And they also give a positive um, made a statements to all the artists the who's trying to get a breakthrough in the music. Make sure you're prepared and mentally stable for it because it's not an easy road to travel. See? So let's get into the article that determined route. And you know, the article is, wasn't properly paragraphed, but I'm going to read it out to the best I can. It might sound like I can't read, but I can. See? <laughs> all right. I hate bad mind people. Music business is built up of bad mind and hold down. The people them we said them represent for love and unity and them are defend harms us and slackness behind closed doors. This is the big problem. Competition our woman feud. Artists stop deal with our what? To hurt each other because of a girl we are not for them and they are just getting a flex 
Producers will hide the real talent and radio stations and disc jockeys turn the music into their personal leader, in their personal thing. Artists pass off that did more than political leader and can't afford a proper funeral. Families that kill off artists for them possessions. Artists and sell their soul and sacrifice loved ones. And still people find time to be bad mind after they are financially stable and can help people to be and can help people. Be sure you want to be part of this world. It is not an easy road to travel. Hashtag like in the movies. So basically determine and say yo, you make bad mind people and the music business is built up of bad mind. We all know that. You know what I mean? And hold down, you know? Then you also just stated that um, artists where them say they represent for love and unity in the music, there will be arms or someone going behind closed doors. So, like, determine know something that is up. See? And we say, yo, big, this is the big problem competition. Artists are carry feelings because of competition and woman feud. One of them personal woman. See? and producers to hide the real talent radio stations and this jack you turn the music into their personal thing artists a drop out we done we do we done a lot more than political leaders and can't find money for bury them funeral you know what i mean families that kill off artists for them possessions you know what I mean? And artists who sell them soul and sacrifice their loved ones to reach the top. See? Basic, yeah, so the article is deep. So we have to determine. Come like determine knows a lot and he's, he's, he's just putting into words what he sees, what he knows, and what he heard. Remember, determine is a veteran artist who had several hit songs and, you know, also know a lot in the business maybe he's he might talk of him personal experience where him get wall long and fight out and all of them things there and that's part of the game and you know he also stated that it's not an easy road so be sure be sure you're ready and mentally stable right if you get involved in the game because once you get into the game first if you have all, I get look of fame zine and them turn on the eight and bad man and go come and everything I got through at you so make sure you're prepared and stable for it yo my viewers and subscribers the music industry, yeah man, wicked man, wicked, 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 you know, you know, I have 16 years trying to get a breakthrough and I've seen a lot, experienced a lot, know a lot, you know what I mean, so, let's go humble you know, and, 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 and let's go, that's it, if you get the break, we get the break, that's so it go, you know, you know, bad man, no one to kill, no one to hurt, no one to carry news, no one to nothing, that's my seven hour draw and a stun for bus. So now I say I keep it real for the back of it. Viewers and subscribers pick up on yourself. You don't know all the love and strength. That was just a quick update. I was to stop the crime. Condolence to the couple that lost their life in St. Thomas. The young couple and the woman who was found in the bush. You know what I mean? Ryan Sterling, brother if you see this. Yeah man, reach out and do some things for Jamaica as well. The school them, you know? Enough talented football out there, as I can say. Referee. I am also a qualified coach, FA, certified, seeing certified referee, certified coach. And we have the same plans and inspiration for do something for Jamaica. It's just because I'm not financially stable that way for do it yet, but it's in the mind and we can execute it. So, yeah man, if you want to link up, link up, see? Yeah man, big up yourself, I'm Sterling. All the love, big up Jamaica, stop the crime, big up UK. Take care and cautious out there, COVID. He's alert. Yeah, man. I'm out. Not another word that I'm out. Good morning. My name is Malachi. Pick up yourself to the world. Good morning. My name is Asher. Pick up yourself to the world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell before you go. So you always get that alert when I upload a new content. Your support is highly appreciated. May God bless you and your loved ones. Guide and protect you during your going out and coming in. Until next time. Stay safe. See you soon.